so what the fuck would I do? I'm telling you, I felt sick as fuck, but I had knots in my stomach and everything. So about two minutes later, grab the test. I got the test. I looked at the bitch, and boom, right there, pregnant. Then the motherfucker. That shit said, "Girl, you are pregnant. Girl, what the fuck are you gonna do?" That's what that test said. Okay. Hit it from the back, watch a nigga bless you Yeah, crying in my arms like a nigga wrecked you Talking about a broken heart, running to the restroom, yeah Look at my mama chip like we rich Hey, Look Hey, y'all, what's up? It's your girl, Miss Angelique From, of course, Miss Angelique Like, bitch, wait, duh Like, this what the fuck I just said, right? I am back with another story time But before I get to this motherfucking story I just wanna let y'all know that like I love y'all. And like um hold up. Hold on a second. Hold up, it ain't just no ordinary but orange juice. You understand know I me? Mean? Alright, so guess what y'all? I got a motherfucking surprise for y'all. I told y'all, you know, in my last second to last, third, last video, some shit like that. I told y'all y'all need to pick one motherfucking story time and guess what? Y'all wanna see all the motherfucking story time. So you know what I said? I said, you know what? I bitch gonna do all three of those story times, okay? Because I just love y'all that much and I was just like, you know what? Everybody wanna know. Y'all want the tea. And honey, I'm here to serve tea. Like what? Yeah. Yeah, it's honey. What's good? I am so hot. Like alcohol, alcohol really makes you hot. Like I don't know why it makes you hot. Okay, so let me tell y'all how this nigga, like, slept with another bitch in my bed. Like, with who? Me? Yeah, bitch, you. Like, me? Who the fuck did that to me? Him. Okay, so this situation took place when I was 18. I was 18 as fuck. Like, uh, a bitch just turned 18, as a matter of fact. And I had these two best friends. They were actually a couple. And, uh, well, let me put it like this. One of the best friends, I met him in seventh grade. And we've been best friends ever since at the time. We're not cool like that really no more. But, like, at the time we were best friends, and I met another girl, but, uh, her, we became best friends, too, and she ended up dating him, so basically my two best friends ended up dating each other, but we decided that it would be a wonderful idea to move in together, so that's what the fuck we did, we got a two-bedroom apartment, um, and we just moved in together. Before I moved into the apartment, um, somehow this guy, we're gonna call him Poppy, because he just wore up and down, he was a Poppy, but he really wasn't, like, Wait, he wasn't even a ditty. Like, he wanted to be a ditty, that's why he called himself Poppy. Um, so we're gonna call him Poppy. I met this nigga on Instagram, right? And I forgot, I think he was, he started liking my pictures and then I saw like his pictures. Y'all know how that shit go. Like, y'all know when a nigga wanna fuck with you or, you know, kind of like hinting that he wanna fuck with you. Whenever he like liking all your motherfucking pictures and like you got a thousand pictures and he liking all the motherfuckers. And uh, somehow he slid in my DMs. I can't, I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember if I slid in his. No, he probably slid in mine because at the time, like, what? A bitch wasn't sliding in nobody's DMs and I will never slide in a DM. Like, you gonna slide in mine. You gotta slide to me, nigga. I'm not gonna slide to you. And we ended up sending numbers. On my Instagram, I was posting, like, oh my god, I can't wait to move. Like, I was just posting stuff regarding my move. So, clearly, people who follow me on Instagram, they gonna know, like, this bitch is about to move. Hold on, bitch. Hold on. So we needed to talk about that and he, I was talking about cooking he was like, you gonna cook for me? And I was like, I'm gonna cook for you. And he was like, well, you know, whenever you get your own place, you, you gonna let me slide through or not? And I was like, what? Yeah, of course. Cause Angelique don't do light scans, okay? Angelique don't do motherfucking light scans. What? I like chocolate. What? What? Like, for real. I don't do light scans. I like to do a chocolate, honey. Yes. So. Um, whenever he like slid in my DMs or whatever, I was kind of like reluctant because I know how light skinned niggas is. Like, they're conceited as fuck. It's kind of like on that, um, light skinned as fuck. I got tattoos, I got color tattoos, I got bitches, I got wet. Like, he was on that type of shit. So, in other words, he was a motherfucking hoe. I don't do hoes, alright? I don't give a fuck how single we are. I'm not gonna do hoes. But for whatever reason, I was just like, city, okay? You come to my house, I'll cook for you. Like, what's up? So, uh, I ended up moving. And to be precise, this was this took place September 2013. Okay, so it's three years ago. Um, well, almost three years ago. And so I moved in my spot with my two best friends. Like I said, y'all, there was a couple. Like they was a couple, 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 couple. Like you know, fucking. Of course, at the end of the night, I knew what the fuck they was gonna do. They were about to be fucking, sucking, licking. 
all of that dicking down like what they were about to be doing all of that and so i wasn't getting it at the time and like i wasn't talking to nobody well i wasn't i was talking to people but i wasn't like fucking people you know what i'm saying so i was being good like oh bitch you being good what okay so yeah so at the end of the night i started getting lonely as fuck and like i would text him at night and we would just be talking and stuff and he would basically throw hints and stuff out there basically saying that he want to come slide to my career which was fine because i told him he could come and i was gonna cook for him and like <laughs> diddy was gonna be treated right with he came over or whatever and whenever he came over like my best my guy best friend he was like girl we eat about to eat some dick tonight and i was like nigga nah he just coming to chill okay he came over and we just started talking and stuff. I didn't have no TV in my room at the time, so like all there was to do was talk. So we was talking and stuff, and um, eventually he just talked me. I'm gonna some draws. I ain't even gonna lie to you, cause he like I said, I don't do light skin, but he was a cute light skin. Like he had tattoos, honey. He had like all of that wit. Like yes, he had all of that, honey. And so you know we did what we had to do. I got weak in my knees, like SWV. Do you understand me? We needed to take a break for a second, <laughs> you know, a intermission in this motherfucker because like a bitch was hot. Hey, bitch, I made myself look like a whole whore. I'm not like that no more. Let me just say that from I was 18. Uh, my first boyfriend was 18. Year of freedom without having to consult with my mother, so don't judge do me, bitch. And if you are judging me, fuck you, and you Z, because you Z need to call me, okay? Actually, he started to come over to the house more often, and let me tell you something this nigga asked me to lick his nipples. I have never met a nigga who want me to lick his nipples like ew what the fuck i don't even want my nipples to be licked why the fuck you want your nipples licked with like he really like enjoyed that and i'm like you know i, I didn't want to say no or whatever because i don't want to seem rude okay but like i felt stupid did a motherfucker like why why am i doing this like lick nipples where bitch what but anyway i just i just thought i would throw that out there so anyways so he started coming to the house more often like, eventually he ended up spending nights and stuff and bitch let me tell you one of these days he texted me and he was like hey, oh i just got into a fight with my ex uh i got a bloody nose some shit like that i guess the bitch beat him up well if that was true i don't even know he probably got into it with a nigga i don't believe it now but i believed it then okay um, so he was like, uh, can I come over? And I'm like, okay, cool. Whenever the nigga asked, can he come over? I'm thinking, okay, he just wanted to be someone for a couple days to kind of like clear his mind or whatever the fuck. Bitch. Bitch. Why the fuck this nigga came with a whole bag, whole motherfucking suitcase, everything? Hangers, clothes. Stockings. Wait, stockings, not stockings. But shoes, socks, slippers, drawers. Wait, what the fuck are you doing? But let me tell you from the way Angelique was set up back then, Angelique was nice as fuck. She let people walk over her. And um that's what Angelique did. So Angelique can't say shit or whatever. But let me tell you, try to share today. Try to share with today's Angelique, bitch. You gonna get curved. It's fun, like you go what the fuck are you doing? Like you don't pay right here, wait. So, you know, I just thought I would throw that out there. So, eventually, he ended up moving, obviously, with me. And, um, I was cool with it. Mind you, he had a job. I didn't have a job at the time, okay? But, I bitch was still making money. That sounded so wrong. I was not out here throwing ass for money. Like, what? No, I wasn't doing that. But, you know what I'm saying? I was still making that motherfucking money. What's up? My... I met my best friend, he was like Alright, so I noticed this nigga is like here And like, the fuck is he moving in or not? Because he, if he is, if we need to split this motherfucking rent for Wait And like, you know what, you are right Like bro, you were right, I used to call him bro, right? I was like, bro, you right So, I talked to him and he was like, nah, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool And I'm like, okay, bitch, it's cool, what, what's up? Because that means I gotta pay less rent That means I ain't gotta pay as much since we got a fourth person in. So, um he agreed, Poppy agreed, and long story short, that didn't happen. I ended up paying his rent for the two months that I was living there because I didn't live there for long. Um, he ended up being there for some time. He wasn't paying nothing. I was paying his half of the bills or whatever. Like a dumbass, but I was paying his half of the bills. He would always be gone. He would be like, oh, I'll be back or whatever. I'm about to go 
hit a lick or I'm about to go do this, I'm about to go do that. Like, I didn't see none of those licks being hit. Or for a few weeks or whatever, he's still living there and he's being, he started becoming more distant. Like, he was just like distant as fuck. Like, you know, whenever you first meet somebody, they be like, your eyes be wide open for them. And eventually over time, like, it don't, if you're not really feeling them, that's how it was with him. Like, his eyes were wide open in the beginning. But towards the end, like, it, it was as if we was, like, homeboys and homegirls. Like, I know we, we wasn't official, but nigga, we fucking every night. Like, what you mean? Like, you need to show me the same motherfucking attention that you were showing me in the beginning, honey. This particular night, me and my friend, we went to the restaurant or whatever, and we was drinking and stuff. Yeah, I know, I was 18 at the time. They're a pretty good restaurant. They didn't give a damn. And so we came back to the house, and... We saw a bitch there. We saw a bitch that we've never seen before. We saw her there and we was like, There you are, bitch. Who are you again? And it was a baby there as well. And I'm like, And you are a little nigga? Like, who the fuck are you? Like, for real. So, um, Papa, he was there and he was like, Oh, um, this is my, my friend, my homegirl, da da da. She wanted me to watch her baby. So, the girl was like, I forgot what she said her name was, but we're just gonna call her bitch. Bitch, okay. Bitch, <laughs> bitch was like, oh yeah, uh, I was coming to pick up my son because I had a job interview um, or whatever. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. But bitch, it was nighttime. So it's like, what the fuck you mean? It's either you made a pit stop or whatever before you came pick up your son or you've been here this whole motherfucking time that I've been gone. I wasn't thinking that at the time because I was like, I'm not going to assume it is what it is. My, um, my best friend, my guy best friend, he was there whenever they were over there. And so he had pulled me to the side and he was like, I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, they was in your room, like, with no clothes. I kind of tried to avoid what he was saying, even though I heard what he was saying. I wasn't trying to cause no conflict while the girl was still there. So, for whatever reason, we went outside with me, the girl, and, uh, Poppy. Well, the girl named Bitch. So it was me, Bitch, and Poppy. And we were talking or whatever. The idea came up in his mind that he wanted to have three films or something like that and I was like what like no um but she ended up saying something about I ain't even gonna lie to you I don't know exactly what she said and how she said it but I know it was basically indicating that his house was mine and I was there visiting so whenever she said that I didn't want to like blow his cover or whatever I was just like oh, okay okay well let this bitch go home I'm gonna deal with you later. I went to my room and I noticed that my covers was flipped over. Cause like, okay, let me say, I have Peter print uh, comforters or whatever. Uh, whenever you flip it over, it's just regular brown. And whenever you flip it over on the other side, it's Peter print. So whenever he did that, or whenever I saw that, that happened, I'm like, okay, so maybe he did it so it, it won't look like a bitch room, okay? So I'm like, oh, okay, bitch, you think it's like, oh, okay, bitch, okay. So um, the girl went home. We actually, me and my friend actually ended up taking the girl home for whatever reason. I forgot why, but we ended up taking her and her baby home. But the girl was cute or whatever. She was like trying to get my number and stuff, like trying to basically hit on me or whatever. But I, you know, you know what I'm saying? I ain't do it or whatever. But while we in a car, the girl was basically just recapping on her day at his house. Mind you, she still felt like that was his house and that I was the one visiting. Whenever it was really the other way around, but I didn't want to blow his cover and I didn't want to, I just didn't want to get into that with her. So I'm just going, like, going with it. I'm asking her questions about, like, oh, okay, so what y'all did and stuff. She's like, Girl, you and she gave him head i'm like oh you did his bed you gave him head oh okay bitch all right bitch i got you bitch so at this point in time i'm like livid then motherfucker i'm like i cannot believe this nigga really almost slept with a whole girl a whole bitch in my room he didn't sleep with her, but he got head. That's bad enough to me. Like, you getting your dick sucked in my room, on my bed. Like, what? So, when I put her home, home, and we came back to the house, I wasn't talking to him. I wasn't saying nothing to him at all. Like, I wasn't at the time. But that very next day, I confronted him about it, and he was, like, trying to, like, downplay it and stuff like that. And this type of nigga that whenever he wrong, he gonna raise his voice. He gonna do whatever the fuck he can to make it feel like you wrong. Nah, nigga, you wrong, okay? So, I was just, I could not believe this shit. Not long after that situation occurred, I moved. Like, I ain't tell nobody nothing. I moved, but I moved, I stopped fucking with him. I stopped fucking with my two roommates. Like, I moved 
how I didn't want to fuck with him for the first. Like you dirty, you nasty motherfucker, you try to fucking fuck bitches in my motherfucking bed, and you go lie and say that you pay the bills when I pay the bills. Like wait, you ain't even pay a bill since you've been here. I felt really, really disrespected because I was being nice. Like I paid his half of the bills and everything. Like I was basically the cougar. Well, no, he was older than me. But you know what I mean. Like usually the cougar take care of the little ditty. But let me tell you something. I'm a good ass woman. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm good. Whenever I got you, I got you. Whenever I don't, I don't. Really, really felt offended because it's like I'm doing everything I could possibly do. I cook for you. I clean for you. I wash this motherfucking dirty ass drawers. Wet. We're not even together. Like we wasn't even together. Do you understand me? But it's just the fact that I feel like we don't gotta be together for me to be loyal to you. Like, that's the type of bitch that I am whenever I fuck with you and I don't fuck with nobody else. You know what I'm saying? Like if I fuck with you, I ride for you, that's it. I'm gonna have no other ZDs but you. But niggas don't want that these days. That's why I'm single as fuck now because niggas want. I don't know what niggas want. What do y'all want? <laughs> For real. Because I thought I was giving y'all what y'all want. But um, that's beside the point. But yeah, y'all. That's how I ended up finding out that this nigga was trying to sleep with a bitch in my room. But uh, hopefully this nigga caught an STD or something. I haven't heard from this nigga since. Like, I don't know who he at, who he with. I don't give a damn. Moral of the story is, like, don't let no random ass nigga that you just met ain't even really just know like that. Move in your motherfucking spot because they gonna move in and they gonna be there forever okay they're gonna be there they're gonna do whatever the fuck they want especially if you ain't got a title on it. even if you got a title on it they're still gonna do whatever the fuck they want to do if they want to do it do you understand me so like just be mindful of who you fuck with basically is what i'm saying because like let's say some angelique has fucked with a lot of fuck niggas in her life a bitch 21 and still fucking with fuck niggas like is it time yet like is it time for y'all to just stop fucking with me that people who fuck over me gonna leave the motherfucking relationship dickless because i ain't got time i'm tired of being nice to you hoes i'm tired of being nice like i'm tired and like uh it's time for me to be taken care of like i'm tired of taking care of y'all grown ass niggas what like this week you knew better you knew better well no nah, you didn't know better back then but now you know better so you gonna do better and I'm gonna do better, okay? Let me know in the comments below if you ever experienced something similar like that. Like this nigga really tried to make it seem like my house was his house. So he could get some pussy. Like what? Girl. Let me tell y'all. So yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed this story. Feel free to comment, rate, subscribe. Well, don't feel free, bitch. Do like do comment, rate, subscribe. Because y'all are just like y'all love me and I love y'all too. And like we just gonna be a happy family because like that's what we do. With. it's actually funner funner is not a word bitch it's more fun recording videos while you're tipsy like i don't have to start doing this more often and i'm hot as fuck so let me go ahead and record another video y'all and i'm gonna see y'all in my next video bye y'all yeah, all right all right all right you was right i was wrong yeah i should have never ever took her home yeah i should have just bombed yeah fantasy on my phone yeah, hit it from the back, watch a nigga bless you Yeah, crying in my arms like